Hey guys, Adrian here from Tech Social, and today we're taking a look at Feedly. Feedly is a really elegant RSS reader, and this is one I actually used to use on Google Chrome, but they have also made an iOS app, and with the updates, it's been really, really elegant, clean looking, and just one of those great ways to consume news and media on your iPhone. So you can see here it says, Welcome to Feedly, a fast and stylish way to read and share your content online through your favorite sites. It tells you to swipe up. And it shows you a little bit of the interface. So you can see in the top left, the three bars represent your home to access your favorite sites, while your search or your magnifying glass represents your explore. So I can click this, and I can see here. Uh, if you're an existing user, you can log in and or connect through Google Reader. So if you have a login account, you can go ahead and log in here. I'm going to go ahead and log in and show you the interface. Log in through my Google account, and you can see here I have... Right away in today under world news I have uh, some of the news I can see here and I can just swipe up to go through from the main stories to the sub stories and keep on going through. And if I want to click on a story for example, I can click on this right here and it brings me in and what's really great it gives you a quick kind of synopsis of the story because you're really clean interface pictures, uh, you know, not a lot of uh, background or ads or stuff like that so you can see here I can keep on going through. Additionally, I can click in here and you can see all of my categories really styled out here nicely. So you can see here I, ha I have a couple things in my Google Reader from uh, online sales, podcast, tech news. Let's jump into tech news. You can see here I have a cover story and I can click this and I can see the, uh, the story here. And if I want to go through the other ones, I can click through here, get that quick synopsis. And again, if you want to read more, you, if you want to pull up to close, you can see there at the bottom it has that gesture. So pull up to close and release will close it out. Uh, additionally, I can, again, use the swiping gesture, swiping left and right to go through different stories. And I can just visit the website to read the full articles, of course. I have some buttons at the top here, which allows me to open in one, open in Safari, right there. So you can see that will open, me, uh, open the full article in Safari. I can bookmark it if I want to bookmark it. I can also share it out via social networks. And you can see how easy that drop interface is. It's really, really clean and simple. And then going back here, I can go into here and just see all the other stuff. I can see news from today, the latest news, save for later, which is that bookmark I mentioned earlier. I can go into settings here. I can refresh. I can change the layout of the story. So I can go from like a mosaic view, which is a really uh, interesting view. And you can see here if I want a one article, I do a short swipe. Or if I want a long swipe, I do an entire card. So I can do that and oh, to get all these different cards here. Or I can you can see all the web at your fingertips. I can simply click here. Go on here, I can add stuff like The Verge to my playlist. I can add it to the tech playlist, for example. And it's added now, and now it's added into the category. And I can start reading their content right away uh, through this reader. It's really clean, really simple. It's a lot of just touch-based uh, gesture, but it's just really clean layout, as you can see here, how they lay out the articles. Uh, and it's just really fast and simple. Again, what I really like about this compared to other readers I've used, like uh, Flipboard, etc., that this one is just really, really fast in terms of loading the content. Uh, the ease of use to add content in. You can just see how quick that text pops up and all of that. And I'm just on a Wi-Fi network, but still you can just see the ease of use. Additionally, you can click on a certain category here and you can see all the uh, news outlets I've put into my RSS feed under that one category of tech news. And you can see the number next to it showing all of the stories that they have submitted in their uh, feed. And Additionally, you go down to settings here, you can even switch themes here, which is really cool. So you can go from a night theme uh, and you can see how that changes the colors. This is one I really, really like. I really like the night theme, the uh, dark on uh, the iPhone screen. just looks really, really nice. And again, on a retina display, this looks really, really flawless. The text stands out really great. You can do advanced settings here. Uh, do stuff like transitions. You can adjust the theme between night and day. You can adjust the font here. And I kind of like Helvetica as my font. You can change the font size, the taglines. Uh, you can hook up stuff like Instapaper and other stuff like that into your account here. So it's really, really clean. Guys, this is one of uh, my current favorite and uh, most used RSS news or, you know, consume, uh, content consumption app. Uh, it's free in the app store, so check it out. Feedly for the iPhone. I'm Adrian for Tech Social. Thanks for watching.